I mean, I'd rather worship the Romans who killed God than right. worship God. No, Shall I tell you why, bro? Shall I tell you why? You can't be oh, let me explain. I'd rather worship let me explain. Julius Caesar. The attributes of Allah. Is Allah eternal? That's one of his attributes, yeah. Are his other attributes eternal? Certain attributes he created. Including his word. His, his, his speech is created, yes. So Allah changes? No. But he creates? Because the fundamental part of Allah that does not change doesn't change. Which is? So he's got certain attributes that are always have to be there no matter what. Yeah. So the ever living, the eternal, etc, etc. Those things which in a philosophical argument would have to be uh, completely understood for me to prove to you that these things are vital for God to have to be God. Without them he can't be God. But he God. creates other attributes. Yeah. But God creates attributes and attaches them to himself. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Then that means God changes. No. So how does God not change if he does something new to like As a human being, if he puts on new clothes, well, I'm sorry for the anthropomorphic example, but if this man changes into a suit, he is still your name. I don't know your name, but he's still that person. But the clothing is not an attribute of humanity. It's just an analogy that I'm using. But what I'm saying is a poor analogy. An, an, an attribute to humanity is something like most humans, it is normative for humans to speak. And a changing of the attribute of humanity, adding a new attribute on, is something akin to suddenly allowing humans to fly of their own inner nature. To be honest, to compare it to the Trinity, I understand now what the argument is. If God decided to create attributes to turn into the human form and manifest, according to our logic, it, it is possible. Thank you. I agree with you on great, that. Great, great. Do, uh, great. Yeah. So now we've established the rationality of the incarnation. Perfect. Now you said, you said, I didn't want to worship um, God who becomes a man because he becomes weak. But now you accept that God can create a human nature and take it on I to mean, himself. I mean, I, I just logically can't believe in a God that got manhandled by Romans. I really can't. But, but now we've accepted. Uh, but now I, I, that, I, I, that's the problem. That's where we get into a problem. Irrelevant. You breastfed. I can't believe irrelevant. God, God goes on a cross. God goes on a cross, on a cross and Romans. I'm not going to worship him on a cross and all of this stuff. I mean, I'd rather so. worship the Romans who killed God than right. worship no, God. Shall I tell you why, bro? Shall I tell you why? You can't be defeated. Let me explain. I'd rather worship Let me explain. Julius Caesar. Shall I tell you why, bro? I tell you why. Because you're saying that the thing that is of highest value is power. That's what you're saying. Yeah. I would rather I worship the Romans who kill God because they are more powerful than God. Yeah, so no, that's no, saying no, a lot say about that. your value you system. Say. Your God got that's beat up by Romans. That's a lot about your value yeah, system. Yeah, yeah. Why would you worship that's what someone who got saying. defeated by his own creation? So what I'm saying, I'll, I'll, I'll wait until, until, until he's sick. If I had to choose between worshipping Jesus or worshipping Romans, So guys, what I'm saying, what I'm saying, because those two are now talking to most So what I'm saying is if your value system says that no, power like, is the most creation. important thing. You're trying to I the want point. to say, I want to say to you that your value system is flawed. You're diverting now. That your value system needs correction. Because the moment you think about my next question, you're going to realize that the most important value is love. Because when you get to the end of your life, you won't say to yourself, I wish I had more power over other people. You will say, I wish I had more love. Which would you like to live your life governed by and have other people live the life governed by this by this principle? Do you want them to live by power or by love? Put your hand up if you want it to be lived by love. If Jesus was killed by Romans, if Jesus was killed by Romans, would you rather worship someone that killed God or think about the logic that underpins the question? Julius Caesar. He would rather worship the killers. He would rather worship the killers. Power is more important than love and that's the problem with the Islamic God is that it elevates power greater than love. I guarantee every one of you on your deathbed will have wished for more love in your life because your nature corresponds to the truth of the Christian faith as opposed to the lies of Islam.